Welcome to another video in the Getting Started with SAP Surhana playlist. Now we have already downloaded and installed SAP GUI and SAP Fury on Windows and Mac, and we already have access to an SAP server. The next step is to learn how to change the critical user settings. These critical settings include the number format, the date format, the time zone, and so on. It is very important to anyone who uses SAP to know how to change his user settings. In this video, I will show you with a demo how to change these user settings on SAP GUI and SAP Fury on Windows and the Mac. It works the same way for both of them. Internal Accounting entries and every step. The SAP department. business process and integration is for HANA. Here I have SAP GUI, and to open the user settings, you can go to the menu system, user profile, and then user data. This will allow us to edit the user settings for the user that we have logged in with. So this is my user ID, and then if I go here to defaults, here we have the different critical settings. The reason I say these are critical settings is because this can actually change the way you use SAP. So for example, the number format is very important. If you do data migration or if you upload data from Excel or if you are copying data from Excel to SAP, you have to be very careful that your number format in SAP matches what you have in Excel or you do some conversion in the middle, but you need to be aware what is your, the number format that you have for this user ID and you can change it as you want. So for example, the one I always use is a comma separator for thousands and dot for decimals, but you can change it as you want. And then we have also the date format, which is also very important when doing data migration or when copying data from Excel, because in Excel, maybe you are using a different format. So some people actually use month slash day slash year. The one that I always use and that we always use in Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and this part of the world is day dot month dot year. But I have seen that this is different based on the regions. So some people have the habit to work with a different format. It all depends on your preference. So feel free to change it as you want, but you need to be aware of the date format in your system. So the one I use is always dd.mm.yyyy. And then we have the time format. So either you use a 24 hour format or you use a 12 hour format and so on. And here we have the time zone, which is also very important. Any user settings that we change here on SAP GUI for this user ID will also be reflected on SAP Fury. Now I'm going to save this and let's switch to SAP Fury and see how we can change our user settings from Fury. So this is SAP Fury and I'm already logged in with the same user ID. So I can click here on the account image and from here go to settings and then go to the page language and region. So here's my language and date format, time format, time zone, and decimal format. So these settings are synchronized with what we have in SAP GUI. So if I change something here, for example, I'm going to change the decimal format to one space, two, three, four, space, five, six, seven, and then save. Now, if I switch back to SAP GUI, and again, go to system, user profile, user data, then go to defaults, and now we can find that this notation is one space, two, three, four, space, five, six, seven. So this is synchronized with what we have in SAP Fury. So whether you change it here or you change it on SAP Fury, they are both the same thing. Now we know how to change our critical user settings on SAP GUI and SAP Fury. I still have many other videos planned in the Getting Started playlist. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified when I publish new videos. Also remember that there are some member exclusive videos in this playlist that can only be seen by the channel members. So if you'd like to support the channel and get access to the member exclusive videos and also to the configuration documents, you can check the channel membership program. I'm going to leave you a link here. Also, you can subscribe to this SAP S4HANA 2023 server that I used in the demo today by going to my website, www.galalconsulting.com. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon.